you also have to watch these kind of things and, and think about these kind of things and go, well, what is he doing that helps him get that tone? And so the embouchure, to really quickly just talk about that again, I, I talk about it in my embouchure, a mature embouchure a lesson. Um, but what he's doing is his lip is out like that. Okay, I can't see myself because I'm so far away. You know, when I go to play, my lip is like the. Okay, it's it's um, it's kind of rolled out a bit, and depending on how I'm playing, um, there's different levels of tension there. You know, sometimes I'll, the muscles will be more, will pull it more tight and um, taut, sort of. Sometimes it's more loose. The, the muscles would be more relaxed and I'll have more of a pillow on the reed. And that's what I see Dexter doing there. And so even though it's, it's rolled out, it's not way far from the teeth, like way out here. It's not like that. But it's, it's like next to the teeth. The teeth are there for support. And if my teeth move, my jaw, if I lower my jaw, because it's right next to the, the teeth, any movement of the jaw is going to affect the pitch. It's going to lower the pitch, or it'll affect the tone. The teeth are like the, the underlying structure of the embouchure. So, you know, there's, there's kind of a rigid part under there. So if, if I back the teeth down, but these muscles keep the embouchure against the reed, that that rigid part is lessened and you get a subtone effect. And that's what you see um, Dexter doing throughout this video. And I want to talk about that too, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So the first 